A DeWitt father and attorney sued DeWitt Public Schools last month over its mask policy. On Monday night, the school board took up the issue. Roughly 40 DeWitt residents showed up at Tuesday night's school board meeting to express their opinions on the district's mask policy. 15 minutes after the meeting started, the board went into closed session to converse with the district's lawyer. Everyone in attendance had to move outside the boardroom and stay there for about an hour before being invited back in. Some were angry about it. This evening, when you had the closed door session, it was disrespectful to keep the public waiting as long as you did. Because in the past, when this board has had closed sessions, you've been very courteous to the public, which you should answer to, and have held those closed door sessions at the end of the agenda. Once invited back in, around 18 residents voiced their opinions to the board. Masks are harming our children and vaccines are destroying lives. In the 23 years that I've been here in this town, 12 years as a bartender, 16 years as a postal carrier, and I know a lot about everybody around you, around this town, and I, I, I've never been, and I know dirty secrets, I've never been so disgusted as I am now with the way that things are going into it schools. A majority of those in attendance did not agree with the district's mask mandate. Did you know that during slavery, <coughs> slaves were forced to wear masks as to symbolically mark them as not having a voice? Though one parent who showed up did. I just wanted to say that I am in favor of what is happening here at DeWitt right now. It's been working out just fine. There's a large majority of parents who feel the same way. They just choose not to come to these meetings. They don't want to subject themselves to this type of circus. It's, it's utterly ridiculous. It is unclear at this moment in time what next steps will be, but I will be following this story closely. Reporting for Fox 47 News from your neighborhood in DeWitt, I'm Lauren Shields.